Hi, everyone. I'm Mark Lichtenfeld, Chief Income Strategist for the Oxford Club. Welcome to State of the Market and welcome to 2024. Ah, here we go again. Now, I have some predictions about what's going to happen this year, forecasts that will blow your mind. Now, before we get to that, a quick recap of 2023. Despite near unanimous expectations of recession in 2023 and a nasty bear market in 2022, stocks turned on a dime on the first trading day last January and climbed nearly 10% in the first month of the year. Nice. But wait a minute. In February, the Fed raised rates by a quarter point to a range of four and a half percent to four and three quarters percent. And it was really annoying. In March, the regional bank crisis touched off thanks to some boneheaded risk management at Silicon Valley Bank. Senator and the taxpayers of America had to pick up the tab for your stupidity, didn't they? Senator. The Fed raised rates again to a range of 4.75% to 5%. I'll let Steve Harvey tell you what happened in May. Name someone you hope never says to you, you're not going to like this. You said, the survey said, yeah! Come on, baby. That's right, rates were raised again to the range of 5% to 5.25%. And again in July, where it stands today, at 5.25% to 5.5%. We're done when I say we're done. Oil spiked in September, leading to high gas prices, and it was estimated that the Fab Four, Barbie, Oppenheimer, Beyonce, and Taylor Swift, added 8.5% billion dollars to the U.S. economy over the summer. Then in November, consumers spent a record $123 billion online, including $38 billion in the five days between Thanksgiving and Cyber Monday. And the market finished the year up 24%, or 26.4% if you include dividends, which I most certainly do. So that was 2023, a very good year for the market and the economy. So what will happen in 2024? Let me consult the trading gods. This year will be another strong year for the market. In presidential election years, the market goes up an average of 7%. However, when a first-term president is seeking re-election, the average is a more robust 12.2%. But I expect an even stronger year for the market. Valuations are still quite reasonable, and late last year, we saw a technical signal that's as rare as a Chiefs game with no oh, mention yeah. of Taylor Swift. She's here. Taylor is in the house. The market gave us a zwag breadth thrust. Who are you? Well, that sounds more like a dance from the 60s. It's actually a very accurate and infrequent bullish signal. The one late last year is just the 18th in the past 80 years. Now, it's a measure of advancing and declining stocks and only occurs before a big market rally. So this is a really positive sign. Now, keep in mind, the market is a forward-looking indicator. It usually signals what the economy is going to do, not the other way around. The market doesn't go down because the economy is bad it goes down because it's about to get bad. Same thing for bull markets, signaling good or improving economies. Think about the Great Recession. The market bottomed in March 2009 while the economy was still in the toilet. But the halt of the decline suggested the economy was not going to collapse as many feared. So last year's 24% gain in the S&P tells me there is not going to be a recession in 2024. Markets don't post huge rallies right before the economy tanks. That doesn't make sense. 
So all the nattering nabobs of negativism will have to wait at least another year to see their incessant doomsday scenarios come true. What's your forecast for the market this year? Leave it in the comments section. And if you'd like to see my eight other predictions for 2024, including a shocking one regarding the presidential election, click the link in the description to check out the Oxford Income Letter risk-free. Thanks for watching State of the Market. I'm Mark Lichtenfeld. I'll see you next time.